What's the deal with this engine? Well, this is gonna be a demonstrator with the old Firebird. And uh, first of all, we're gonna run it on pump gas. It's the first time this engine's gonna run on pump gas since I've had it. <laughs> so it's got low compression, about eight and a half to one. And it's gonna run on 87 octane. And then I'm gonna switch it to E85. Okay, and then we're gonna see how much of a difference it has. And I'm gonna GPS track it. So we'll be able to tell just how much fuel it uses and how much of a difference it is. Then I'm gonna put some high compression heads on it. And we're gonna see how much of a difference that makes because when you change the compression, you increase the mileage on an engine and it doesn't matter if it's E85 or gasoline. The problem is gasoline just can't handle that much compression. This thing's gonna be race gas compression when I put them other heads on it because that's the way Pontiac does things. They change it with the heads, not with the pistons like a Chevy. And that brings me to the next thing. I'm building me a nice little turbo 400 for this car. Three-speed automatic. And it's gonna have a 241 gear, so it's not gonna be anything exotic like overdrives and stuff like that. It's just gonna be highway gear stuff that you can get that came in most of the cars from the 70s. And here's the rebuild kit for the turbo 400. The one that I showed you is not the one that I'm building. It's a different one. It's currently buried on a shelf right now. But this comes with the bands and the bushings and all the other little stuff. Oh, wow. This one even has the selective washers and things. The filter. The modulator. Woo! Man, this is hardcore. And there's the seal, the uh, frictions and the steels right there. I'll tell you what. Automatic transmissions are pretty early and handy and fun to drive if you know how to build them. If you just put them in drive and brain don't along, it's like, eh, they're boring. But if you want to make a bunch of power and you want to stick it to the ground pretty easy and not break stuff, that's where the, four, or the automatics come into their own. Oh, yeah, lots of fun. So we're going to put that with a Turbo 400. And I'm going to take this 700R4 off of my little stand here, and I'm going to put the 400 on it and rebuild that. And that's what we're going to do later. You don't like Chevy, do you? Do you? <coughs> nope. No Chevys. Do you like Mopar? Do you like Mopar? Cudas are okay, right? Yeah. <laughs> you don't say. Well, I guess we need to go to the house. So 700 R4 is coming off, 400 is going.